Thank you for coming and uh, the people who are passing by, please listen to us. We are going to start. June 23 is Okinawa Memorial Day. In 1945, systematic fighting by the former Japanese army deployed in Okinawa ended on this day. Okinawa was a fierce battleground during the Battle of Okinawa near the end of the Pacific War. A relentless land campaign took place with sh uh, shelling from naval ships and bombardment. bombardment from the air so fierce that it has been called the Typhoon of Steel. The islanders were sacrificed by the Japanese uh, military and were even forced to kill themselves rather than surrender. One in four Okinawan people died in this battle. The people of Okinawa don't believe in war. For 450 years, the Ryukyu Kingdom governed the islands. The kingdom developed a unique culture through trade and exchange with China and southern Asian countries until Japan's invasion and incorporation of Okinawa in the late 19th century. The cornerstone of peace symbolizes the peace-loving philosophy and spirit of the Okinawan people. Nuchi do tatara, all life is precious. On the cornerstone, more than 240,000 names of the world dead of the Battle of Okinawa are inscribed regardless of their military or uh, civilian status, their place of origin or their nationality. More than 15,000, uh, 14,000 American names are there on the cornerstone. On Memorial Day, people gather around this monument remembering the courage and spreading peace. The battle ended, but the war never quit the islands. For 27 years, Okinawa was placed under the administration of the United States. Even after the reversion to Japan in 1972, U.S. military bases have remained. 70% of U.S. military facilities in Japan are concentrated in Okinawa, which accounts for only 0.6% of Japan's total land area, despite the people's strong wish for peace. Suffering from accidents, noise, pollution, environmental destruction, sexual assaults, and other crimes caused by the presence of U.S. bases, the people of Okinawa has raised their voices to oppose the construction of another new military base at the beautiful, rich in biodiversity uh, sea at the Henoko Oura Bay. However, the Japanese government has ignored their voices because of the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty. Even worse, under the present circumstance, in which tension between the U.S. and China has been getting worse, the Japanese government has shrewdly violated Japan's peace constitution. New missile bases have been constructed one after another on the small islands in Okinawa, obviously targeting China. The U.S. and Japanese joint military exercises have been even more provocative. The people of Okinawa worry that their islands will become a battlefield again because of the joint U.S. and Japanese forces. Their movement for peace is getting stronger. No lives, either Americans 
Taiwanese, Japanese, Okinawans, or Chinese should be lost in a war waged in the competition for hegemony. We are here today to honor the resilience of those who fight to make peace with Okinawa, within Okinawa and from Okinawa. Remembering the people who lost their lives during the war, we pledge to stop the insane war machine, stop the destruction, peace in East Asia. Okay. Thank you.